and welcome to this, the final game of the East Division on the road to the Basketball Africa League. Both these teams have already qualified for the Basketball Africa League, but they battle it out tonight for the title of the East Division. De Beira are undefeated in this leg of the competition, having lost only one game overall to the Cape Town Tigers in the last round. And the Cobras, coming in as a wild card, have made it all the way to the final. To help me unpack it all tonight, a former SA national team player, Mr. Takane Ngobeni. How are you today? Welcome to our viewers. This is going to be a, a nice one, very physical. Both teams, in my book, I wasn't expecting to see this final, but you never get the final, final you want. The players get the finals they earn. And both teams, congratulations to them, both deserving. They've worked hard, they've earned, and it should be a nice physical, uh, high-scoring game. And like you're saying, Takane, both these teams battled really hard yesterday to make it to this final. Um, De Beira getting a two-point win over the Tigers. 
and the Cobra Sport getting a two-point win over the New Stars. Key players from, from Cobra Sport in that win, who was critical, was Tang, chipped in 27.7 rebounds, and Dizina, Dizie, rather, 20 points, and David Tang, 13 points, four high-profile blocks, and four rebounds. Very critical. And then on Ferro, the Rayo side, the bearer, Kennedy came in with 17 points, Namande 24 points, Perry with 16, and Ubis was just dominant in the paint, 14 points and 11 rebounds. So both guys, both teams just locked in, and they both qualified. But uh, I think this is more for, for bragging rights and just uh, to know that you won your group and you dominated. Absolutely. Neither of these teams are going to take it easy tonight just because they've qualified. And we're up and away. Wamukota gets that tip. Wamukota for three. That's off. Debera coming away with the rebound. And Numamande driving there. Kicks it out to Perry. He kicks it out to the other side. And an easy lay-in. By the captain, Ubis, opening the floodgates, taking it easy, scoring. Teamwork gets him there. Nice first conversion on the first possession. And Obese does a real good job of being physical inside. Ball inside to Amakota. He kicks it to the corner. And the mid-range jumper is off. Obese coming away with the rebound. And it's number Monday to Perry. Perry for three. The transition three from Perry is no good. Tang. Goes inside to Amakota. And the ball is stolen by Kennedy. He gives it up to Munamande. And an easy layup. Debera having a good start. I mean, turning their defense into offense, allowing them to get a head start in this game. And you want to capitalize on all your easy points so far. Or easy opportunities, rather. A ball gets turned over. Perry coming away with it. And the bearer turn it right back over. It's Kennedy who can't hold on to it. And we see the bearer sitting up in a full court press. Rap to Amukota. Shot goes up from Day. Wamakota gets a rebound. The beast with a nice smooth steal under the rim. Protect that ball or he gets taken away. Kennedy. Kennedy misses that. The ball is tapped around, ends up in the hands of Hauna. Numamande attacking the paint. Wamakota just getting in the lane getting a handle on that pass. And the other way, it's an easy lane for a jack. Come Shot goes up, no good. Rebound in the hands of Tang, who finds Deng once again. Ball gets called out on Tibera. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this frantic energy by both teams right now. Why wow, they both are settled, they both a little nervous, so it's the nerves settling in, and they're not taking care of the ball, but those nerves need to settle real quick, or else you'll find yourself in a, in a hole that you have to dig yourself out of, points-wise. Absolutely, and we have a sub, Nimamande goes to the bench, and Novella coming in for her. It's Tang. Tang pulls up for the mid-range jump, but that hits nothing. Tang with a cold start. It is raining outside, so uh, the weather won't help him in, uh, in warming up like he did. He had 19 first half points last night. Just yeah. breaking, ended up the game with 27, but first shot of the game today was an air ball. It's Perry. He's watched by Ria. Hauna with his first shot of the game. Jake comes away with it. Ria controls the offense for Cobra Sport. Staying with the ball. 
It's Tang. And Mukota on the inside as the shot clock expires. And the crew chief, Musia, calls the shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. Good defense by Devera. Restricting them to one shot and just using the shot clock against them. Cobra Sport a little frantic. I thought that the Brera would be the one who would, the physicality would be imposed on, but they seem to be an aggressor coming into this game. Yeah, the Brera have definitely been aggressive on both ends of the floor. It's Perry. Novella tries to go inside to Bisse. He's able to hold on to it though. And Deng just collides with Perry, who goes to the floor. 34, David Deng commits the foul. Very physical, very active. The Actually, the first de strong defensive player for Cobra Sports, because he had four blocks yesterday. And right there, almost a steal, just a little bit too late. Great intentions, poor execution. Be on the play, make the play, instead of creating a turnover or getting a foul. Novella inbounds to Perry. Perry finds Novella. Kennedy in the corner, and the three is good from Novella. Ishmael Lamande finding his feet early in the shot, getting the defense moving, and just hitting that open shot, wide open shot. React finds Wamukota. Ball on the outside and the reply from Tang from three. And Tang starts getting warmed up at the 45 on the left side. You're in trouble because that's the exact same thing he did last night. Takes good shots and makes them when he's in rhythm. Hauna. Ball inside to Ubisi. He attacks Wamukota. Harry for three. And that's good. And that's the inside game right there. Ubi set that up, attacking the big tower that is from Akota to find Perry for that open shot outside. It's Tang working the baseline. His jumper just hits off the rim, and the ball stays with the Cobra Sport. The Bear is showing a double team on Tang as soon as he gets the ball, trying to get the ball out of his hand, because they know once he catches fire and catches rhythm, it becomes a little bit difficult to slow him down and manage him. So try to contain him and get the ball out of his hands as quick as possible. Ball actually stays with the, goes to the bearer on that one. Perry attacking the inside. And the foul is called on number nine, Riak. And that sends Perry to the line. Perry's strong drive, hesitation, turns around, takes it strong to the rim. Fouled by Riak, however, denied by Zide around the rim. A fairly athletic rim protecting team, Cobra Sports is. Either you go up, dunk it, or you float it, or else your ball will be thrown out. And Perry, a good free throw shooter, averaging 70%. He goes two for two on that one. Tang, he's double teamed. Dang with the ball. Dang for three, hits nothing, but the rebound goes to a jack who converts. Kennedy. He finds Obisi, he's blocked. Mamande fakes. Drives Perry. That's no good. Rims just out. There's a lot of physicality here. And referee umpire Dorothy Okach having a word with the men on the floor. And the importance of this game is to play the whistle. It's a physical game. You can't call the, the, the game for yourself and play. So allow the referees to do their job, call the play, give them a reason to call a play and play the whistle and keep it moving. 
Ball in the hands of Deng. Perry just plunging into him there, and he picks up the foul. That'll be his first, and the first for De Beira, as you see him there. De Beira is coming into a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone. Oh, full court zone, full court press rather, and then sitting down into a 2 3 zone, moving the ball around. Deng somehow able Trying to, to hold get the second steal of the game. Number Mandy, Kennedy not able to hold on to that. Ball either way by Wamakota. Wamakota in the corner to a jack. He misses, and there seems to be a foul under the rim. And we have a sub coming in. Numamande hits the bench again. And Mungwambe comes in for him. Perry with the ball. Finds Kennedy. Kennedy goes inside. And finds Hawuna cutting to the rim. And that's just easy basketball for them. Move the ball around and find your open gaps. Get the defense moving. Wamukota. Sizing up Ubisi. And Ubisi. committing a reckless foul right there. You already got Wamukota out the paint, away from the paint. He's facing you. And now you just extend the ball and just become physically, expose physicality when it's not unnecessary. So she just has to be a little bit more careful. Continue playing with the aggression that he's playing with, and that will keep him in the game. And we have our first timeout of the game. And as we go into that timeout with just over three minutes left, it's Debera 14 and Cobra Sport 7. It'll be a jack to inbound the ball. React to Maluel. Inside to Amukwata and the easy two from the big man, Mabio. It's an easy high and low. Kennedy. The turnover there from Zabera. A jack back inside. South Sudan playing simple big to big basketball. Why they're getting the pass is easy where they want to get. And if you're near the rim, it's just easy. Go up and make a simple two. Mungwambe. He tries to go inside to Zandamela, but the ball is kicked away by Wamukota. Cobra Sports decides to change up their defense a little bit. They went away from the man-to-man -man defense and they're now also now playing a 2-3 zone. And with their athletic size, it should make it a little bit more difficult for the Bear to score from the inside. Kennedy for three, and that's all. But the rebound in the hands of Wambe. Perry attacking the paint. Hauna to Kennedy to Perry. Perry's jump is no good. Wamukota secures the rebound. And he needs to make those open shots because they are. That's why he's here. That's what got him here. So he needs to close that out. Wamukota from three. Hits front iron. Debera with a last tap. The ball stays with Cobra Sport.
Omokota. Right to Maluel. Maluel fading away there. Perry tapping it to him side, finds Kennedy. Oh, and the hey. slam from Mungwambe. <laughs> that is a statement piece by Mungwambe. I didn't expect that to come in that strong over such an athletic player. It's Yak inside to Wamukota. Maluel back to Wamukota. Oh, and as he tries to find the big Mapuede, Debera are able to get the steal. Attacking the rim, though, with a nice Euro step is Hauna, but his layup rims out. Maluel from three. That's no good. Debera well, rebound. Debera making it easy, and then we have that fast break. Nice, easy pass. And number 17 with a ferocious dunk on the opposition. Perry. Hauna, back to Perry. Oh, and the attempt at the alley hoop there. And that is a brave pass. I mean, to throw an alley hoop among those trees, that is Cobra Sports. Wamukota to the cutting, Mabio. And he draws the foul. Nice drive, way to find the big guy in transition. Get the ball down to Wamakota. Gets the ball, secures it, gives it to the big guy coming down the lane. He should have just went up and flushed that. Being the biggest guy on the floor, dunk on the smallest guy on the floor. Don't let him touch you. Just dunk on him very hard. Always looking for the highlight reel there, TK. Of course I am. Attack, attack, attack. That's what you should do when you get the ball, especially if you're in that transition play, you've got so much momentum on your, on your side. Mabio goes one for two at 50%. Kennedy just passing the ball ahead, finding Mugambe, who is taken down. And the intentional foul is called as you see there on the replay, it's React just grabbing him by the shoulders. That's a strong, aggressive take on Mangambwe as well. You know, you know you're gonna get fouled, but he just, I think he oversold that as well. Mangambwe, not a great free throw shooter, averaging just 66.7%. And he goes, one for two at 50%, and because of the unsportsmanlike foul, Debera retained possession of the ball. Inbound it to Perry, he gets the screen from Kennedy. Perry finds Kennedy on the outside, Kennedy for three. Oh, and as the shot clock winds down, that putback not good. At the end of the first quarter, it's Debera, 17 and Cobra Sport trailing by five with 12.
and we are almost back in for second a quarter action and again that score is 17 to the Beira and 12 to Cobra Sport what do you expect coming into the second quarter to a little bit of what we had in the first but I'm expecting from Cobra Sport David Dang to get back into the game and Michael Tang to be a little bit more aggressive in his attacking and from Debera to start making a little bit more shots so playing hard. Kennedy on the inside goes around Wamakota for that too. Smooth take, smooth up and under by Kennedy. Good delivery. Due to Wamakota, back to Due. Maluel. Wamakota on the inside. He looks to find Mabio. Oh, and that's an air ball. But the rebound going back to Maluel. Rebound. And those second chance opportunities need to be limited if they want to continue to have the lead in this game. Kennedy, he fakes the shot. He's three rooms in and out. An uncharacteristically difficult start from out there for Kennedy, who usually shoots it at 55.3%. Ball, other way, Numamande fouls the trailing. Mugwambe, who's fouled and will go to the line. I like Mwambe's uh, attack the rim at any cost mentality. As soon as he gets the ball, you know he's going straight past. Look at that nice pass by his teammate, and Mwambe going straight to the rim. He's either going to try to dunk it or lay it off the glass easily. Yeah, he's just a really aggressive player when he's coming downhill. That's good, and I like the confidence he's coming into this game with, because last night he put up 24 points. Mugwambe misses the first. Mugwambe goes one for two. It's due with the ball. Maluel finds Wamakota, who kicks it to the corner. Threes, no good. Number Monday ahead of everybody for the easy two. And that's what it is. You make them shoot long threes, long rebounds, and you leak out and get the easy two. Nice possession by uh, the Bearer, turning the defense into offense. Do you? Manuel tries to drive. Wapokota on the inside. Kicks it out to Mabio. And that two-point jumper from the baseline. And that's what is you good. want from the big fella. Nice soft touch, easy two. Perry. Wambe. And the foul looks like it'll go on Wamukota. That Mabio block came after the contact. And so Mungwambe will go back to the free throw line once again. Mungwambe showing his teammates how it should be done, remaining aggressive. Don't fear the trees. Don't go over the trees. Go through the trees, that is, Wamakota and uh, Mabio. So attack them and force them to get into foul trouble so that they can get off the floor and you can then continue to attack the rim with less people to try and block you. And this time, Mungwambe goes two for two. Yeah. And headed to the bench now is Wamokota. Coming in for him will be Garang. And that's what we mentioned. Wamokota is now in foul trouble. Garang has to now come into the game to replace that. Do you? And the ball just slips through the hands of Mabil on that due pass. Novella now taking control of the ball with Perry on the bench. Numamande. Kennedy finds Numamande. Three is no good. Kennedy just not able to hold on to that rebound. Ball goes the way of Cobra Sports. The Bera, the smaller team, but however, stepping up and playing big and aggressive. And now, as they set back into their 
two zone, full court zone. Ball in the hands of Mabio. He passes it all the way down, but Garang is not able to make the rebound. I mean, make the layup, excuse me. Numamande. Novella back to Numamande. Numamande attacking, and his floater over the trees. Numamande just gathering himself and not just, you know, exerting all his energy, being calculating in that shot. And an offensive foul called there on the screen by Mabio. Mabio getting a little frustrated. All the players just chipping at him. Every time there's a ball up, everyone's jumping into him for being physical. And that frustration being laid out by him committing an offensive foul. And we have some substitutions from the South Sudanese team. It's Tang coming back onto the floor, as well as Deng. Tang and Deng, both scorers. Tang having 27 points last night. And David Deng, 13 points, four rebounds. In them securing their seat in this final. Both guys very aggressive on the offensive side, more so Tang. And then David Deng, just a two-way player. Four blocks last night, four rebounds, and 17 points. 13 points for David Deng. Ball goes inside, finds Kennedy. Kennedy goes around Mobile for the reverse layup. Nobody seems to be intimidated by the size of Mobile. Everyone is attacking him and just trying to get they, they points in. Ball in the hands of Tang. He fakes the jump is no good. Mobile comes away with it. He finds Deng. And Cobra Sports slowly just racking up those offensive rebounds. Mamande. Kennedy. Back to Mamande, who passed it back to the corner. And Mamande for three. I don't think that was a jump shot. That was just him throwing the ball into the rim. You know, no arc, just pure aggression and passion. Nice shot by Mamande. She just got a shoot. <laughs> exactly. And the three on the other side is no good. But the foul is called on the rebound. And it looks to go against Ubis. And there we have the ball movement by Cobra Sports. Shot up, not boxing out. And Ubis just extending his hand up on Mobile. Ding. His jump is no good. Kennedy comes away with the rebound, but it's turned right over to Maluel. Due for three. No good. Well, Beast fights in Mobile for that rebound. Ball all the way down the floor, and it's number Monday's three. Mobile secures the rebound. Tang inside to Ding. David Deng slowly getting back into this game, asserting himself. His teammates looking for him and him just answering the call. Say, guys, find me, and I'll put some points on the board. And off that run by Cobra Sport, it's Debeira who called the timeout. And we are halfway through the second quarter. 
It is the Beira with an 11 point lead over Cobra Sports. The Beira playing the kind of ball I thought Cobra Sport would come in playing. That is fast ball, aggressive, and just tenacious defense, making that team uncomfortable. Hauna inside to this. Mamande. And the jumper hits nothing from Baptista. Dang for three. That is no good. But the hold is called under the rim on Zandamela. David Dang with an attempted shot. Zandamela just aggressively pushing out Mobio under the rim. The refs are now cognizant. And I think that intentional foul by Mobiro earlier on caught their attention. And now they're looking to see why the big man is reacting to most calls or yeah, most pushing. They just seem to be calling it tighter under the rim there. Oh, and the steal from Novella. He goes all the way down. That's his great MVP. anticipation, knowing the, the court, knowing where you need to be in, and just stealing the ball and scoring. It's Tang. He finds you. Dew puts up the jumper, hits only the air. Uncharacteristic by Dew, just pulling up a shot so high up in the shot clock. He normally moves the ball around a little bit more, but hey, it is the final. Everyone wants to get this shot in. Shots up, rather. Ball in the hands of Novella. They find Mamande. And Zandamela blows the layup. Cobra's football. It's Tang for three. No good. Tang having a cold night, rather. Hot last night. Not so hot today. Numa Mande drops it off inside to Baptista. He gets it back. Ball in the corner to Novella. Off that scramble ends up Cobra Sport ball. The bearer just moving Cobra Sport in that zone that they're sitting in and just finding the shots they want. So just need to start landing or netting a couple more shots. It's Ding. Goes to Maluel. Abior's double teamed, but he's able to find Tang, but that's no good. Just a difficult time underneath the basket for Cobra Sport. Hauna with the three point shot. Hauna with the shot. Now the bearer back on defense. The bearer needs to be very cognizant of those second chance opportunities. They might not affect them now, but they will affect them as the game goes deeper. And the shot on the other side, the attempted reply by Maluel goes out. It's Hauna again. This time, no joy though. But Baptista manages to secure the rebound. And now it's Numamande for the three-point shot. And that's good! And just talk about selflessness and playing for the team. Moving the ball around, securing the second chance. Chances that have been exposing your team, using that to your advantage and putting points on the board. And this time it's Cobra Sport who try to quail the momentum as you see the Maluel missed there. And it's time out. Cobra Sport. Cobra Sport. We have a...
Under that timeout, it is Cobra Sports to inbound from the baseline. And it's Debeira with a 19-point lead in this first half. Maluel. Maluel off the glass. Smooth take by Maluel. Just slicing and dicing through that defense. Numamande. Baptista. They go inside. Baptista gets it back. It gets kicked to Numamande who attacks the rim. And it looks like Deng got a hand on that. And that's just a great offensive possession by Debera, moving the ball around, looking for open spaces, and just attacking the rim hard or finding a very clear open shot. Bound it to Numa Mande over Deng. It's no good, but Novella secures the rebound for Debera. Baptista with the mid range jumper, that's no good. But the rebound and put back and that by is, Hauna. That is four offensive rebounds. That is four chances they had to take shots at the rim. And the fourth one actually ending up in a shot it going in. Cobra Sport definitely have to do a better job of slowing down those second chances. The corner jumper is good. And the three there by Maluel. It's Numamande. Finds Hauna. He finds Novella. Novella finds Numamande once again. And the fadeaway jumper. I mean, no one is resting on defense. Everyone is moving. No one actually knows who's on the help side. So it makes it easier for the bearer to score. Maluwawa attacking the room. Finds Wamukota. Wamukota taking a page out of the bearer's book. Getting the defense moving and just getting an easy two. It's just to register on the scoreboard. Attacking the rim is Batista. Batista blows the layup. Zandamela, though, not able to hold on to it, unfortunately. And it's Cobra Sport ball the other way. Maluwal stops and pops! Well, with his second three in a row, chopping down the lead, making the game a 13-point game, keeping it close, going into the half. It's... Novella, guarded heavily by Dew. Numamande, over the outstretched hand of Maluel. And that's the confidence you take the last shot of the half with. Great shot clock and game clock awareness there from Numamande to make that three. And at half time in this one, it's the Beirut with a 16 point lead at 46 to the 30 from Cobra Sport.
are about to get underway in the third quarter with Debera leading the Cobra Sports team by 45 to 30. And what stands out really in that first half is those 10 points from Maluel on the Cobra Sports side, as well as the 16 points from Numamande, or 58.3% shooting for Debera. Numamande picking his moments and just scoring the whole time. And his teammates are finding him, making it very easy for him to put points on the board. And the shot from Manuel. That's no good, but the putback by Deng goes. It's Perry. Gets the screen from Kennedy. Kennedy. He kicks out to Nomamande. Nomamande finds Hauna. Ball in the hands of Perry with the shot clock winding down. Hauna attacks, kicks it out. And on that possession, the bearer just not aware of the shot clock. They, they, they were aware, but I think they wanted someone else to take a shot. They were more like playing hot potato with the ball and not really looking to score. And they need to remain aggressive. You are up, you are leading, but you need to remain aggressive and look to score in every possession. Do you? It's Malawal, who goes inside to Amukota. Ball knocked away by Numamande. Perry for the easy layup. Easy to turning defense into offense, and that's just doing it with active hands and staying in the passing lanes. And we saw that quite a bit in the first half. Amukota, outside to Deng. Kennedy with the rebound. Perry, he goes inside to Ubis. Ubis over Wamakota. I like that, that aggression though. You don't want to hesitate when you've been guarded by a bigger guy. Ubis just attacking the chest of Wamakota. Maluel into Wamakota, who's double teamed. Finds Maluel again, cutting for the easy two. Wamakota being nifty and crafty. Taking the ball low where they don't expect it to go and making a pass to his teammate. Perry on the screen from Kennedy. It's an open Kennedy. He drives, puts it out to Abyss, who's blocked by Wamukota. It's two. Ball in the hands of Deng. Oh, Deng being foul in the act of passing. The ball was still in his hands when he passed that. I would have flicked it at the rim. <laughs> Probably would have been a good way to get a, to the free throw line. A good way to see that drive into the rim, foul calls, and instead of passing it to your teammate, flick it to the rim if you've uh, already acquired. That's a very crafty uh, way of getting to the free throw line. And do you hit to the bench? It's Lado who finds Riak. Maluel for three. That's no good. Mbande rebound. Perry with multiple dribbles to find the base. Now it's Mbande. He attacks the rim, goes around the defense. Deceptive. And the two. A deceptive long stride by Mbande, getting to the rim through the defense. And the inside turnaround jumper by Lado gives Cobras two to hit, get them to 36. It's Perry. Perry spinning. Kennedy attacks the room. Finds Perry on the weak side corner. The three is no good, but Perry to the free throw line. Perry to the free throw line. Kennedy just looking to create for his teammate, drawing the defense and kicking it out. And Perry with the shot. And you love to see that from your star players. We watch the rebound there, where Perry gets knocked to the ground on that three point attempt. He makes the first. Perry, a good three, a free throw shooter. 
and he averages 70 percent from the free throw line and for and this, it, for this time he goes three for three It's Ruck to Ding. Ruck. Inside to Laddle. This time the jump is no good. Kennedy out of transition. Finds Hauna. Who finds Ubis. Who's cutting through the key for an easy two. And the way that the bearer just does that, sharing the ball and then finding the open man right under the rim. They just simplified getting two points when they wanted. Malua. Oh, that pass almost not getting the interact. He puts up the jumper, which hits back iron. Perry, all in the hands of Kennedy who attacks the rim. And again, inside, he finds a base. Like I said, they go inside, out, and back inside for an easy two. Just get the ball moving, get the defense moving, and then just make it, make it easy. They're making it look so easy. They are indeed just moving the ball around and finding the open man. It's Maluel. Inside to Amukota. Amukota looks to attack, but the defense is too It's wreck now with the floater. Ball all the way down the floor to Numamande. Hauna fights Perry. Ball moving beautifully for Debera, and it's Numamande who takes the shot. Obis with the rebound, it's and it's easy put back. They get that defense moving, everybody's out of place, and that just allows Obis to just stand in the same position, avoid the three setting ball, and get the ball. And we have the largest lead of the game at 22. But we have a man down from Debera. It's Captain Ubis who goes to the ground. Hydration is important. Captain Ubis has been playing some major minutes and I'm sure by, the, by day five, your body has a has not reached its toll, but it has been put through the grinder being, being, by playing physical and aggressive. Absolutely, it's been a long couple of days for all these teams. It's Deng, inside to Mabiul. Amukota not able to hold on to it. Numamande coming the other way. Deng pins it off the backboard, but the referees will call a goaltend. And that, that was just a smart, aggressive play right there on the fast break. Not trying to score, but just putting it in a place where the ref will call a goaltend because the ball had already touched the net, the, the back of the board. And we see Hauna hit to the bench. Wamukota again not able to hold on to the ball. And DeBera coming the other way once again. It's Perry this time the for the layup. DeBera is a smaller team, but however, just being the more dominating, aggressive, and fast paced team that you expect Cobra Sports to be. It's Tang. He finds Deng for three. Deng's three is good. The long range hit from Deng. Kennedy between his legs pass. Gets kicked to Perry. They go inside. Number Monday to Mugwambe. Mugwambe's reply is no good. But the rebound by Baptista. Mugwambe. Perry hits the jumper. Hits front iron and it's Wamukota who comes away with the rebound. Ding. Inside to Mabul. And the pass to Deng goes right through his fingers. The Bayra ball. The Bayra is being so aggressive with their defense, whereas when Cobra Sport tries to move the ball quickly, they just find themselves playing out of character and turning the ball over. And we have a timeout on the floor with three minutes and 38 seconds left. In the third quarter, it's the Bayra 62, Cobra Sport 39.
we have Senda getting his first minutes in the game. Mamande dancing with Iraq. It's Senda with the ball. In the hands of Mugwambe for three. I mean, just talk about being comfortable in your style of play, knowing that you're in rhythm because your teammates have got your back. The bear is settling down a 2-3 zone. Tang tries to hit the reply, and that's good from Tang. And Tang, I think he started on the wrong rim because this is the rim where he scored those first half 17 points last night, and his first shot is money. Baptista to Numamande. It's Mungwambe attacking the rim, and Mungwambe comes away with the rebound. It's Tang. He checked there from Tang, looks like. He checked, rhythm check. I mean, his teammates don't complain because that's how he gets his points. And back down the other way, it's Sandamela who catches the defense sleeping for an easy two. The bearer just being sneaky, changing the tempos and finding creative ways to score. Omokota. A jack attacks, but goes back to Omokota. Amokota sliding to the rim, and he gets fouled and will go to the free throw line. So Beira just being super aggressive and tenacious on that. With the Tang fighting Wamakota in the middle, and Wamakota just being fouled while trying to make his way to the rim. No easy pass in the paint. Mokota makes the first. And he doesn't get to the free throw line very often. Usually only twice a game. This time he goes 100% from the charity stripe. It's Senda. He finds Baptista. Attacking the room now is Mungwambe. And Wamba with a very nice, strong take. He just puts his head down and finds a nifty way to get to the rim. Absolutely, a take. The three-point shot is good from Ajak. Ajak picking up where he left off in the first half. Coming in and finding the bottom of the net. Mungwambe. Mungwambe, they've set that play up so many times because they've just been playing the top of the key and the back door was just widely available for that slam. It's Tang. Tang puts up the three. That's no good. Debera rebound. Coming the other way. Looked like he was taking big strides there. The miss by Baptista. Inside the fake and the jump. Mabio picks up that rebound. As you see the fake there by Zandamela to get Mabio up in the air and he comes right down on his head. The referee calls it unsportsmanlike. Sportsmanlike. And Mabio at that height, you don't need to strike down, you just need to stand up tall because he comes in listed at what, seven foot one? Stand up tall and uh, the player will have to adjust around him. And here we have a look at that jam from Mongwambe in the previous possession. Zandamela makes the first. And he shorts the second. And possession will remain with Dabera of that unsportsmanlike call. <laughs> to inbound the ball, 
it'll be Novella for the Beira. He finds Andamela. He gives it back. Sets the pick for him. Kicks it out to the corner. Novella gets it back for three. And it's just good teamwork, finding each other and creating. Look at them like just smiling and laughing. They're having fun right now. The Bear are definitely having fun right now. Ball in the hands of Ria. They go to a jack. He tries to go inside to Mabio, but the ball is picked off by Zandamela. It's Mungwabe as the shot clock winds down, but he hits nothing. They are up so many points. However, they bench is yelling at them that if we are on offense, you get a good shot. This just shows the competitive edge that the Barra has and is keeping while playing this game. And at the end of the third quarter, it's the Barra 75, Cobra Sport 47. as we head into the final 10 minutes of the East Division Championship for the road to the Basketball Africa League. It is Debeira with a 28 point lead over Cobra Sport from South Sudan. Ball in the hands of Baptista. Now Seda. Mungwambe driving to the wreck. Finds a cuttings under Mela. And that's just teamwork right there. They remaining aggressive and just competing. They're no longer participating. They're just still competing in this game. Ball gets poked away. Coming down the other way. It's Senga. Put to you. That is a quick four point score in the first 25 seconds of that quarter, of the, four, of the last quarter. And the lead up to 32. For the bearer. Maluau. He'll try the three. That's no good. And there is a tussle for that rebound between Baptista and Garang. And Garang will walk away with the foul. Lead up 32. The bearer is still playing and competing. And that just speaks to a discipline of a team. Because normally guys would take it easy, they'd relax. Coach is just yelling. The guys on the bench are still engaged. I mean, this team is very locked in and is here for a purpose. They certainly do look locked in. Mungwambe. To Baptista. Baptista will stop and pop. Mid-range jumper, good. Team ring. From Baptista. If you open, make it count. And you can see the excitement on the faces of the Stabera team. It's a jack who finds Mabio in the corner to Maluau who tries another three. 
That spins in and out. Coming the other way is Mungwambe. His layup doesn't go. But doesn't you just go. see there, even off that miss, just aggressively going at the ball. Off the ball. And I look, at, I look over at Coach Lopez and the team. The starters are yelling and complimenting their teammates, keeping them locked in just, they, just the way they would do if they were on the floor. So everybody on the team is engaged, sharing minutes, and just sharing in this, in this group effort. And Garang, as well as Mabil, head to the bench. Make way for Wamokota and Deng. It's a jack inside to Wamokota. Ball in the hands of Deng. And poked away by Sender. It's 11 seconds on the shot clock. It's Cobra Sport ball. Wamokota on the inside, goes to the rim. And he's fouled by Zander Mella. Omokota heads to the free throw line to try and earn his points from there. First is good from Omokota. And it's two for two from the charity stripe for Wamakota. And rolling to the rim there is Mungwambe. He's not able to make those. Wamakota coming the other way. Maluwo from outside. Good. And that's just great initiation by Wamakota. Driving and throwing the defense and then just finding the open man. And just Maluwo just dropping that too. Three-pointer. Baptista, Mungwambe trying to attack once again. Oh, and a dive there from Wamukota to secure the ball, but it gets turned right back over by Cobra Sports. Send up for three. That hits nothing. The ball got tapped a few times, but it'll go the way of Cobra Sports. It's due to bring up the ball. They roll it to try and keep some time on the clock. Into the corner to Maluwal for three. That's no good. Senda kicks it to Novella, who fights Mungwambe. Mungwambe steps back, hits the three. No good. Cobra Sports, rebound. Well, Makota at the bottom, man seals, couldn't get the ball. However, he remains aggressive and gets rewarded by the ref by just having the right position at the right time. The ref rewards him with a foul. A little too aggressive there by Sender. And going to the bench now is the man who's had a great night, Mungwambe. It's you with the ball. Maluwal attacking the paint. Tries to find Wamukota but gets picked away by Sender. Hauna finds Baptista. And now it's Novella who finds Baptista. And that extra pass is blocked though by Wamukota. Denied active hands. Wamukota has come alive defensively in the last sequence of play. It's a Jack who gets the ball stolen. Sender coming downhill, kicks it to the side. And there is just so much ball rotation here from this Dabera team. In the hands of Novella. Omokota in the passing lane, but Novella gets it back. His three hits nothing, and so the shot clock expiring on Dabera. We now have a man who seems to have gone to the ground. It is a jack holding his face 
and being attended to by the medical staff. coach from Cobra Sport just trying to have a word with his troops while a jack is attended to. This game feels a little out of reach for Cobra Sport, TK. The game has been out of reach. None of the hot hands uh, are playing well. Nzie is not playing well. David Dang is not playing well. Uh, and Tang is also not playing a good offensive night. So the, the guys, if they're going to pick it up, they need to pick it up and catch fire. Microwavable fire. Get that instant offense immediately. It's Tang. That's out to Tang. Tang looks to attack, but as he dribbles, the Bera come away with the ball. Ball in the hands of Novella. And the pass cannot reach its intended recipient, Baptista. Cobra Sport Ball. Deng to do. They find Maluel. Tang for three. And that bounces off the back of the iron and hits over the backboard. And we are halfway through the final quarter in the East Division Final for the Basketball Africa League qualifiers. who controls the ball for Debeira. And he turns it over to the hands of Deng. Attacking the room now is Tang, who finds Wamukota. Wamukota's shot runs in and out. Baptista. Hauna takes the three. Wamukota rebound. And as they try to both go for the ball there, Wamukota and Baptista, it's Baptista who comes away with the foul. As you see there, he just hits the hand. Hits the Wamakota. hand and just, it just knocks him down there. Strong physical take by Wamakota, just being present and being, being locked in and just showing us how high he can go up for the rebound. It's you. Ju gets the screen from Mamukota, kicks it to the corner. And the cross court part results in a three for Manuel. And they need more of those if they're going to try to chip into this lead in the final uh, four minutes of this game. Attacking the rim now is Novella. Kicks it out to Baptista. Oh, and no foul is called there as Hauna tries to make the layup. Wamakota has just been present this whole quarter on defense. And Deng throws it away, trying to find Maluel on the weak side. Deng with the wishful pass, hoping the man was there. Unfortunately, just 
turning the ball over. It always helps to make eye contact with the guy that you, you're going to pass at, at this point in the game, especially if he's just made a, hot, a, a shot and you know that he's, he's feeling himself and could potentially make another one. Heading to the bench for Deberia's novella and coming in for him is number Monday, who has the ball in his hand now. Number Monday attacking the rim. While Mokota tries to come across and the rebound by Deng is turned over on the attempted pass to Wamakota. David Deng with his second turnover, avoiding eye contact with his teammates. Like I say, if he makes eye contact, then it's not just his fault. His teammates must also just be looking at him at all times because he's looking to pass and create opportunities. Ball in the hands of Numamande. He gets the screen from Zandamela. He kicks it back to him for three. The Mbande is hot. Picking up where he outside. left off in the first half. Got a little rest at the bench, at the bench, but his head is still hot. Dew finds Wamukota. And now in the hands of Ding, who pops it from way downtown, hits for an iron. Dew. Tulado. Back in the hands of Ding. Dew with the shot clock winding down. Hits the side of the rim. Debera rebound. Debera trying to send it down the floor, but Wamakota able to intercept that. Wamakota is forever active, defensively passing lanes, blocking shots. You know, he, he's fighting. He keeps the fight going. Wamakota gets the easy two. Wamakota everywhere on this court, offensively and defensively. Just staying relevant in the game. It just feels, TK, that this Cobra sports team has given up on this game. Oh, but they come away with a steal. And it's Dang coming the other way for the easy two. And David Dang, that could have been a nice flush. I award the two. Nice flush, but just to keep your team energy, come on, two minute drill. Let's not give up and let's keep fighting. I expected the same thing. It's the Monday. He passes inside. And going baseline is Zandamela. Uh, Real de Bera is just executing as just better than they have been in the first quarter. Just getting, seem to be getting better with every quarter and every possession. And de Bera really showing how deep they are today. Omokota turns and spins on Zandamela. Not makes, gets his own rebound though. It's Deng who hit the three. And David Deng finally hits the bottom of the net with a long range ball. A little too late at this point. Ball in the hands of Hauna. Zandamela to Mamande. No, Mamande with a fadeaway jumper at the high post. No, Mamande not giving away. Anything, taking any shots or opportunity given to him, just aiming for not even at the rim, at the bottom of the net at this point. And Cobra Sport just slowing it down a little. But it's you who cuts. And in the corner, it's Malu. Whoa, for three. And we have about 40 seconds left in this one. About a two possession game, I would say. Ball in the hands of Hauna. He gets the screen from Zandamela. Hauna attacking the rim. Kicks it to the side for three from Baptista. Coach Lopez is still, Lopez Hernandez is still coaching, still standing, even in the last minute of the game and they will dribble it out not the final we expected mm -hmm. but a good showing from Debera and a spirited fight from Cobra Sport
standing here with Coach Lopez Hernandez from Dabera. Coach, you're the last team standing. Congratulations on that win. What is your strategy coming into this game? Uh, like always, uh, we try to do the thing that we practice every day. Uh, we try to do our best in defense, in offense, transition offense to defense, transition defense to offense, uh, rebound, everything. We, we practice every day, everything, and we try to do the thing that we practice every day. Coach, what did you say to your guys coming into this game? They were locked in from the first quarter and didn't take their foot off the pedal. What, did, what message did you tell them and what inspiration made them play this hard? Good, good question. I said that we are a ball team, then we must play like a ball team. No, we don't need, to, we don't want to be, to play relaxed. Uh, I know that uh, we were qualified and after yesterday, uh, a, a, a very hard game, very tough. Uh, the, the players uh, can be lost. Uh, they can uh, lose concentration. And then I, I said that, hey, uh, one more game, uh, re, uh, we must rest after the game and enjoy, uh, but uh, this is, uh, we must respect the competition, and that's it. Coach, what's next for your team? What? What's next for your team? What do you guys do now? Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with the captain of the winning team, last man standing. Captain, how does it feel? I think the feeling or a oh, concentração, eu penso que é boa, o sentimento é, 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 é positivo, porque viemos para aqui, conseguimos fazer o, os jogos, né? Se foram quatro jogos e conseguimos ganhar os jogos, penso que é muito bom quando chegas num campeonato e consegues ganhar todos os jogos que tu tens pela frente. You guys came out focused, locked in. Uh, what was your mind state coming into this game to secure this win? Penso que nós, nós quando olhamos para o jogo, olhamos todos os jogos a sério, uh, encarnamos as equipas como todas fortes porque as equipas estão aqui porque merecem porque ganharam no seu, nos seus países e estão aqui pelo menos como estão como vencedores então sempre o nosso objetivo é, é jogar de igual respeitando todas as equipas para poder ganhar os jogos now that you secured your your seat definitely the last man standing what message do you have for your fans at home pense que primeiro Agradecer a, a, a organização, uh, esteve bem. Agradecer ao pessoal que esteve aqui eh, todos os dias ap apoiando a, a equipa Ferroviária Ferro da Beira. Também agradecer ao pessoal que esteve lá em Moçambique também, eh, do nosso lado. Creio eu, cá estávamos a representar a nossa bandeira, estávamos a representar eh, eh, o nosso país que é Moçambique. E creio que toda a gente estava... Uh, todos os dias diante a, a, as câmeras ou a televisão para poderem ver o nosso jogo e torcer para o nosso lado e nós estamos aqui fazemos nossa parte está de parabéns o clube está de parabéns a, uh, o país e, que é Moçambique congratulations again and good luck going forward thank you obrigado
Carey tapping it to him side, finds Kennedy. Oh, and the slam from Mungwambe. <laughs> Kennedy on the inside, goes around Wamukota for that two. Novella back to Mamande. Mamande attacking, and his floater over the trees. Ball in the hands of Tang. He fakes, the jump is no good. Mabio comes away with it. He finds Deng. Hauna with the three-point shot. And now it's Numamande for the three-point shot. And that's good. And just talk about selflessness and play. He finds Novella. Novella finds Numamande once again. And the fadeaway jumper. And it's Cobra Sport ball the other way. Malawal stops and pops. Well, with his second three. Numamande over the outstretched hand of Malawal. And that. Now it's Numamande. He attacks the rim, goes around the defense. To set and the two. And the inside turnaround jumper by Lado. Kennedy out of transition. Finds Hauna. Who finds Ubis. Who's cutting through the carry. All in the hands of Kennedy who attacks the rim. And again inside. He finds Ubis. Mamukota not able to hold on to it. Numamande coming the other way. Deng pins it off the backboard. It's Tang. He finds Deng for three. Deng's three is good. In the hands of Mugwambe for three. Check, rhythm check. I mean, his teammates don't complain because that's how he gets his points. And back down the other way. Absolutely. It's Tang. The three-point shot is good. Inside jam. Kicks it out to the corner. Novella gets it back for three. And it is. Mugwambe driving to the wreck. Finds a cuttings under Mela. And that's Not it. able to make those. Omukota coming the other way. Malo from outside. Good. And that's just great in this and now it's Novella who finds Baptista. And that extra pass is blocked though by Wamu. It's Deng who hit the three. And David Deng finally hits the bottom.